Today, we're going to talk about a new and some underutilized features, check-in celebrations and achievement labels, and how we can use it to empower your church's family ministry. This presentation came out of a project our team completed for a church to solve a specific ministry need. We love that we have the opportunity to share these features, not just to make one particular church better, but make all churches in the Rock community better. And what does every church want to know? Every church, or at least every family ministry, wants to answer the question, how do you get kids to engage? While we don't have the final answer to that question, we want to share how we were able to solve a ministry need and increase engagement for a church's family ministry. This project resulted in features being added to core, and we wanted to highlight those features in this video. Before we talk about the feature, let's talk about the problems we are trying to solve for our church partner. Our church partner wanted to provide something for our kids to look forward to when attending church with their families. They needed a way to track quick distribution of prizes for high volume traffic services. They wanted to track accumulative attendance, not consecutive attendances. We understand that life happens and families can't attend church every week. They wanted to reset this accumulation count at the beginning of each year. So with these requirements, we must ask ourselves, what features can we use to accomplish this project in Rock? Well, at the time of the project, there wasn't a feature set that fully completed those requirements. We could get close, but we needed something new to get the project across the finish line. This problem led to achievement labels being a feature sponsored by Church of the Highlands. The problem they were trying to solve was providing a tangible celebration to kids to engage with their ministry. This tangible celebration could be exchanged for a prize while building a habit of attending church. While this is a new feature that was added to Rock, Triumph tapped into a few other features to complete this project with celebrations, streaks, and achievements. Now we're going to spend some time unpacking each of these feature sets. Check-in celebrations is a great feature to celebrate an attendee's engagement through check-in. Note the confetti on this screen is animated. There are a few out-of-the-box themes that have different animations or celebrations when an attendee reaches an achievement. As you can see from the screen, the check-in confirmation shows more than just a celebration when an achievement has been earned. The attendee can see their history of achievements and visualize the pro progress that they're making. And to set up celebrations, you first need to set up streaks and achievements to other features in Rock. What is an engagement pattern? While attendance is the most basic use case, you can additionally set up streaks for specific attendance, interactions, steps, or financial transactions. Streaks are helpful to tell you how many engagements in a row or how many engagements in a certain span of time that someone has taken with your organization. Streaks are a part of a streak type. You can have an infinite number of streaks per its type. Streaks are flexible on how you can set them up. For our basic example of attendance, you would set up a new streak with a start date of today, sync the linked activity of attendance, and frequency of weekly. In this use case, anyone who checks in would be given a streak engagement. Achievements are an attempt to meet a goal of an achievement type. Achievement attempts are part of an achievement type which represent a specific goal and defines the criteria to meet that goal. As a simple example, Say you want to know when a person has attended service three times in a row in a single month because you want to move the needle of people attending twice a month to three times a month. Instead of wading through raw data for that kind of pattern or writing a complicated report, achievements will do that for you automatically. For Church of the Highlands use case, they wanted to create celebration opportunities for 45 weeks out of the year. Here's a sample list of achievements that Church of the Highlands uses to celebrate their kids' engagements. Are you still not sure if celebrations, streaks, and achievements are right for your organization? Here's what Church of the Highlands had to say about implementing their achievement process. We have heard of kids begging their parents to go back to church because of the achievement process. How cool is that? Church of the Highlands was able to take features in rock to create real, felt ministry experiences and empower their family ministry. Now, as we start talking about setting up streaks and achievements, we want to share a quote with you. Henry David Thoreau states, what you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. In other words, who you're becoming is more important than what you're doing. We're focused on identity transformation, not behavior modification. In a consumer-minded culture, it's easy to use technology to get people hooked. 
We wrestle with this tension daily with our smartphones and the people who are in front of us. We want to strongly encourage you to think through the end result of what you're hoping to happen by implementing these features in your ministry. While powerful, be mindful of what identity you're driving people toward. Now that we've discussed what streaks and achievements are, we're going to walk through setting up streaks and achievements to celebrate meaningful engagement patterns and reinforce positive behavior. Before setting up streaks and achievements, make sure to review the engagement manual. First, we're going to create new streak types. For our example, we're going to going to be creating a streak type for attendance group type purpose. Note group type purpose is a defined type and is defined on the group type. Create a new streak type with the following information. Name, description, start date, sync linked activity, and that linked activity is attendance group type purpose. For the group type purpose, we're choosing kids check-in. This is a newly created defined value of its type group type purpose. The frequency will be weekly and the day of the week start will be Sunday. Once a streak is created, navigate to achievements on the streak type detail page. You can click achievements up in the top right hand corner of the page. By default, there will be two achievement types created for you, 10 weeks in a row, 20 weeks in a year. Both achievement types have something different in their setup that are helpful to review as you're learning about achievement types. For our use case, you can delete both and proceed to set up your own achievement types. For our use case, we're setting up achievements for each prize and each week before the prize. The reason for this is Church of the Highlands wanted a way to encourage kids to come back the following week. So in the top right hand corner, select the add new button to create a new achievement type. On this page, we have the following fields we need to set up. Name, description, and before we go any further, you may notice that the description is not a typical description. You'll see in our later solution of the achievement label feature that we're pulling in the description to make the label code scalable instead of having to return different messages based on the type of achievement the child achieved. We were setting the max accomplishments to allowed equals one, you can set icon classes to easily identify achievement types. Choose an achievement event of streaks accumulative with a streak type of kids attendance. Set the number to accumulate, which is 15. That's the goal of the achievement type that you're shooting for. And then the start date is January 2nd, 2022. And the end date is December 31st, 2022. When you're done, your list of achievements should look something like this, but hold on. We're not quite finished. Once you set up your achievement types, you still need to associate those achievement types with check-in. Each achievement type needs to be assigned to a check-in configuration if you want people to begin attempting achievements for attendance-related streaks. To do this, navigate to Admin Tools, Check-in, Check-in Configuration, Weekly Service Check-in, select Edit. Under the General Settings, you will be able to add achievement types. Note that achievement types need to be added to the check-in achievements for achievement attempts to be recorded at check-in. At the same time, each achievement will be loaded and progress shown for each person who checks in. This is really important to call out to your check-in volunteers to make sure that they're aware that Rock has not experienced a slowness, but an extra step is happening at check-in. Once achievement types are added to the correct check-in configuration, they will be calculated for people on check-in. As you can see on the check-in confirmation screen, the achievement history and visual progress is shown on the check-in confirmations as well as successful achievements displaying above. Now that streaks and achievements have been set up, we're going to discuss how to use achievement labels to print an additional label on success and achievement attempt. To review, We've created a streak, which tracks how many times and how often a person did a thing, like check-in, and an achievement that does something when the streak has been completed. And if you've stuck with us this far, we're going to start getting into more technical aspects of the project. If you're not understanding some of these concepts, that's okay. We're big believers in planting seeds, and we believe that hearing and seeing something, even if you don't understand it at the time, will help you make a connection once you you discover and understand other related things. 
As you continue to engage and understand these concepts, you're equipping yourself with wonderful tools for your church and your ministry to help get kids engaged. Before setting up streaks and achievements and the achievement label feature, make sure to read the achievement labels portion of your checking out check-in manual. Achievement labels can be printed once an achievement is earned. A label effectively prints or the merge field code will run for each person, regardless of whether the achievement has been met. Whether the label prints is determined by the logic in the label merge field. As you saw earlier, Highlands prints a prize label every fifth check-in by a child. This example label prints the week before, so on the 4th, 9th, 14th, etc. check-in. To create a new label merge field, add to the list under admin tools, check-in, label merge fields. Note that this is sample merge field from the checking out check-in guide. What you're seeing is a combination of Zebra programming language or ZPL, the language Zebra printers understand that prints labels, and Lava, the templating engine in Rock. We want to stop right here. Some of you may already know this was possible, but the fact that you can place complete labels within label merge fields is really cool. For one thing, it allows you to print labels conditionally. For example, you could print a specific label if a child has an allergy note on their profile, or you could print an extra child label for certain ages or grades. We want to give you an example of what we did for Church of the Highlands. But again, this isn't required. Here's the label merge field we created for Church of the Highlands. At a simple level, for every completed achievement, get the achievements number to accumulate or the goal. And if the week prior prize is achieved, print the first label. If the prize achievement has been achieved, print the second label. Nothing prints on the first, second, or third attendance, but the next time a label prints on the fourth and a prize label prints on the fifth. And as an example, if you're wondering what that logic looks like, we're pointing to the first label for the next week prize, so that's the logic that will determine if that prints. And again, here's the logic for the second label prize. The achievements label itself is the simplest part. The magic works through the merge field. So create a new label under admin tools, check in, check in, check in labels, and you'll need to add a new merge code with a key of achievements and a value that matches the label merge field created in the prior step. Save the label, open it up again, click the edit label contents button, and in the label contents area, add the following. You can see it on the screen in that black box. Save your change and save the label. Note, for this label to print, it will need to be added to a check-in area in check-in configuration. That's it for the achievement label. You've created a label merge field with the important stuff in it and a very simple label that contains nothing but the merge field. Now, every time a child checks in and the achievement label is set to print on the group type that they're checking into, the label merge field code runs and conditionally prints a next time label if it's their fourth check-in and a prize label if it's their fifth check-in. Note that this is to, this is set to not require consecutive attendances, but it could be that case if that's what meets your ministry's needs. You've made it through and we're proud that you've come along this far. Now we're going to go deeper into the technical aspects of the project. So since we like to measure what matters, Church of the Highlands requested a report built around achievements for their team. They wanted to see how achievements, street count, and attendance work together, which is why they were unable to use the out-of-the-box achievements enrollment view. Church of the Highlands wanted a report on hand that w achievements with attendances for two purposes. It allowed them to order prizes for the upcoming weekend, knowing the potential people across campuses who could reach a certain achievement. And during busy service times, it allowed their kids team to follow up with kids and different prizes, being able to deliver these to different rooms if the volume, volume is too great at check-in. Triumph created a dynamic data report where we reported on the following information person name, age, campus, location, schedule, completed date, achievement type, and engagement account. The report was able to be filtered by streak type, achievement type, campus, schedule, and Sunday date. 
If you have tried to report on streaks and achievements before, you may have found it hard to limit streak types to specific achievement types, which begs the question, how are streak types stored on achievement types? Streak types are stored on achievement types differently than you may expect. So let's build a simple select query to show the, how the streak type is being stored on an achievement type. Let's start with an achievement attempt table. From here, we want to join the achievement type table onto the achievement attempt. Next, we'll need to join the streak type onto the achievement type table, but how? There's a JSON property on the achievement type called component config JSON. This property stores a key value pair with a key of streak type and the value being the GUID of the associated streak type. While using SQL for your report, you can join a streak type table onto your query using this value. You can use a JSON value function to extract values from a JSON string and join on that value. Note that our team has found the JSON value function can be more expensive regarding performance. So what will this actually look like? If we were to run our simple query, we'll see a key value pair for the streak type and how it's stored. Great. Now that we can create our own reports around streaks and achievements, what other cool things can we do? Now that we've talked about reporting on streaks and achievements in your ROC instance, we're going to touch on some of the other next steps to help your ministry go beyond the basics and succeed with achievements. Some achievements will naturally hold more weight than others. If a child reaches a certain achievement, it's an opportunity to celebrate it as a significant milestone for engaging with your organization. Use this opportunity to create a special celebration, like sending a child an engraved Bible or devotional. So Church of the Highlands wanted to capture which kids had received a devotional journal before to know how helpful this new feature was. We determined to capture kids who have reached this achievement in a group to keep it simple. To add them to a group, we created a simple workflow that was triggered whenever a child achieves the 45 week prize Devo journal achievement. It adds that person to a group. We also created data views and a dynamic report to view these kids who've reached this achievement. This dynamic report will be used to create merge fields for mailing these devotional journals to kids, review who has received this achievement year over year, and if a child has received this achievement multiple years in a row, filter them out to not have kids receiving the same devotional journal each year. You may find yourself asking the question, what happens if we think our streak and achievement data has problems, or if we've run a test and need to clear the data? This should be a very rare decision because it's permanent and will delete existing data. We're providing three questions to ask before making this decision. While there's a button on the streak and achievement types to rebuild the entire history for, for the types, only streaks has the button to rebuild an individual's record. Ask yourself the following questions. First, do you want to recalculate streaks and achievements from current attendance records? Essentially, all previous data is erased, and streaks and achievements are recalculated from attendance records. If you aren't confident in your current attendance data, think twice before you rebuild. Next, do you want to rebuild achievements or streaks? Remember, streaks are the foundation to achievements, so if you don't want to rebuild all your achievements and want to limit your rebuild to a single achievement type, that is possible by rebuilding per achievement type. Lastly, do you want to rebuild streaks per person or per its streak type? Streaks can be re rebuilt per person or per its streak type. Make sure you choose the correct one for your use case. If you have a test person with streak data, rebuild streaks for that individual. If the results are not what you expect, pause before rebuilding. Make sure you read the streak type rebuild section of the engagement manual before you attempt to rebuild streaks. Bottom line, think twice before you rebuild. So here's what we talked about. We talked about setting up streaks and achievements. We discussed how you, you can associate achievement types with check-in and how this is needed to capture streak engagements and show check-in celebrations. We showed you the new achievement label feature and how to set that up for your check-in. We went deeper to fill in the gaps with how to report on achievement types and streaks. We provided additional ideas of how to use achievements to launch workflows or processes 
to remove the administrative work so your team can focus on the ministry. Now you have more tools in your tool belt to be able to empower your family ministry within ROC using celebrations, streaks, achievements, and the new achievement labels feature.